Hey, it's Christina from Studio SE, and I'm going to show you how to change the fill color of different elements and stereotypes that you create. So I created a stereotype named component. Um, so I have some components on this block definition diagram. I'm also going to add a few blocks just for um, some comparison purposes. Okay. So my blocks and my components are the same color. Now I probably want someone to easily be able to differentiate between a component and a block. So I want to go ahead and change the color of a component, but I'll also show you how to change the color of a block. We do things a little bit differently for the two if you have a stereotype already. So to change the color of a block, we can go to options, project. We go to symbol styles, default, stereotypes. We can expand stereotypes. I'm going to put this over here um, and we can find a block. Now if I want to change the fill color of a block, I just select block and I can choose whichever fill color that I like. Maybe we'll do a little light green, click apply. I can select which diagrams I want this to apply to. For ease, I'm just going to select all. Okay and okay. Now since component, when I created the stereotype component, it's inheriting its properties from a block, um, that changed my component to green as well. But here it, you can see that I have green blocks and I have green components. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually change the color of the component as well. Let's go to options, project, symbol styles, default, let's select stereotypes. Now if we actually expand this, notice that my component is not listed in these stereotypes. So I actually need to add um, my component to the, this list. So I'm going to click that button. I'm going to search for my component and I'm going to move it over, press OK. Now something that's really interesting about when you're adding a new stereotype is you actually have a default property. Well, I'll show it to you first. If I go ahead and I change this fill color, maybe we'll do a blue, press OK, apply, select all, OK, OK. We actually have it changed to the actual icon of the component that I selected when I was creating the stereotype. I want it to actually look like a block, just be a different color. So there's this default property in here that, let me see, let me search for it. Um, here, um, show stereotypes. By default, it says shape, image, and text. So that's why it's showing the icon and the text. I just want it to show the text. Click apply, select all, okay, okay. Now we see that um, it has turned my component to this light blue. We can do a few different things here. Um, we could do the text in the icon if I wanted, um, so you can actually see the icon appear. Um, sometimes that's a little bit fun, but that's how you change the color of um, blocks um, or elements that are already in your model versus stereotypes that you might create. Hopefully you found that helpful. Um, thanks for listening in.